Hello, happy you joined me. Welcome to my third video. It's about the Heart and Soul Nebula. I'm Ken Nave, astrophotographer. Please visit me on my website to view all my available work at www.darkskyimagesbyken.com. I am pleased to announce an updated version of the Heart and Soul Nebula, a new addition to my line of freestanding double-sided metal curves. By the way, these 11 by 14 inch curves are perfect for gift giving and can be personalized. Let's look at the night sky. The best time to image the heart and soul is in the autumn. As you scan across the stars from the great square of Pegasus toward Polaris, the North Star, you may be able to see very dimly the bright part of the Andromeda galaxy. Going past the Andromeda Galaxy and continuing towards Polaris, you encounter the unique W-shaped asterism in the constellation Cassiopeia. And here is where we find the Heart and Soul Nebula, just adjacent to the asterism. Just as the Heart and Soul are romantically linked through popular culture and song, they are also inextricably linked together in the night sky by their close proximity and a tenuous gas cloud. The soft, subtle colors are created using a scientific palette of hydrogen alpha, sulfur two, and oxygen three. The colors representing the mix and distribution of these elemental gases throughout the heart and soul nebula. Uh oh, I hear the coffee machine is ready. Hang on, enjoy the music. Hi, Ken's off getting a cup of coffee. I'm June, I'm his wife. We are very excited about the relaunch of the heart and soul nebula. There's a warm and fuzzy feature of the Soul Nebula that Ken usually neglects to mention. I think it's just a little too cute for his scientific sensibility. So here's the heart and the soul as Ken presents it. But if you flip the soul, you get the adorable cuddling bear with a honeybee by his nose and a pom-pom fuzzy tail. What a lovely fun gift for you or your favorite someone. You're really going to love the beer. So thanks for watching and wishing you clear skies.